So I'm pretty excited today. I got my stove back after I went and had it reworked by Chase Bennett out in Stephen Crossing. And guys, wait till you see this. I'm excited for winter tent camping. The reason why I brought it up, if you can remember my last one just had uh, one damper and a, a little, I guess a little plate that slid back and forth over, over top of it. This one here is uh, two holes and you're able to uh, adjust it however you want, you know? And even uh, you put a spacer in between, in between the front plate and the door, so there's always a little bit of air, so you can close that right off and she'll smolder. So, uh, really good design, really happy about it. And he stripped it right down. He, he, made, he made this bigger, like these plates here, and, and he got them uh, flatter. So now that the, the pan, oh man, the heat coming off of that. The pan will touch the, the, the stove. He also <clears throat> put one of these on and it's detachable. Uh, but what's really nice about it is this. You can boil the kettle, put the kettle down here, keep it warm. You can boil the kettle actually down here as long as you slide the kettle over and let it touch the stove. It'll bring it to boil. So. I got a spot for my frying pan, a spot for my kettle. Uh, and he, uh, because he stripped everything right down, I got a bigger door, bigger door. And uh, I could put a nice size chunk of wood in, as you'll see in the video. Whew. Uh, but he, because he did the, the re, redid the whole thing, including the legs, uh, he, he repainted it, repainted it. Even the collar where the, uh, where the uh, stove pipe attaches, he redid that as well. So uh, the whole thing was done, and now I need to uh, give it a burn before I take it out in the uh, hot tent. Okay, so I'm out here at Chase Bennett's. Chase, how much you uh, sell these soles for? $220. $220. And you can see the difference. I'll show you a picture of what it, what it looked like before I dropped it off, and now you can see uh, now that I got it dropped off. And now according to Chase, he tells me that you, you can even boil a kettle right here on, on the side, eh? Yeah. So does the kettle have to be touching the side? Touching the stove, yeah. You, okay, the kettle got to touch the stove, but you leave it right here. But what a nice little feature here for like when you're doing up your... your, your yes, like, even if you want to boil your kettle on the top, put yeah. it on the side, it'll keep boiling while you're cooking something on the top. Right? Wicked. Yeah, so now you've got two surfaces to work with and this comes off. Right, so for two hundred and twenty dollars, you can't beat that, and that's a thirty. Uh, now the side piece is extra. The side piece is extra. Those over there, that's what they get for two twenty. Okay, all right. So here you go. You got a couple already ready to go, and that's uh, you get that for two hundred and twenty dollars. All right, and and uh, the drafts that are same. Oh, he he modified these drafts, so now you can have a little bit. You know what I mean? Or two barrel full open type thing, right? So you're able to adjust it how you need it. Yeah. And uh, by the G, is it, it looks good. Looks real good. So these two ready to go. First come, first serve, $220 for those. And check out, see what you got going on here. Making those rabbit pens. I tell you, they work, they work some good. Anything else you want to say about the stove? Well, that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah. Speaks for itself. Oh, it does. Uh, did you see the, 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 the video I did where I had the test on to it and then yes. and the burn time? Yeah. 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 So, and uh, if I tighten this up. Or yeah, it's adjustable so you can, you can slacken that, that second nut there. Yeah. And you can tighten that bolt up on the front to where you like it and then you can just snug them, snug them up and it'll stay where you want them. Okay, uh, I see. So as he, as he wears in over time, you can tighten them up, right? Okay, yeah. Now you got a spacer in there, right? There is a spacer there. If he finds it drawn too hard, you can you take that out. Take the spacer out. Yeah, but it works pretty darn good as with is. that spacer there. You can shut her off and she don't kill the fire. Nice. Okay. And you got a nice tight fit on that door. And the door is bigger now, Chase. Your door is bigger because I cut out the old one. Yeah. And after I cut out the hole, window, the hole was bigger to way. I had to make the frame a little bit bigger to put back, right? But I tell you what, it looks good. Now I'm gonna have to go do a burn on that before I put that in my tent table before I'm in there. You can, yeah, yeah, if you, if you wish. 
You could always you could always put it in the tent, light your fire, and leave the door open. Did you do anything to this, or is that that's the same? Ch that's changed. That is changed. Yeah, I thought so. Is that still four inch though? Yeah. And uh, the thing will still fit in there perfect. Yeah. yeah. Wicked. Yeah, I thought that changed a little bit there. Yeah, that's changed too. Yeah. Wicked. Yeah. When I made yours, yours was one of the first five I made. Was it? I figured. I didn't yeah. know if it was the first or or not, but. And now I'm up over 150. 150. Yeah. Hear that? So that's a popular item, and they work really good, and they got a good burn time. They got, got a really. Them, I got them gone from St. John's to Cape Breton to Labrador. Yeah. And just about everywhere here on the island. Yeah. Well, and and, and that's the thing. Uh, so the, uh, I'll have Chase's uh, contact information in this video and in the description below. If you're looking to get one of these, you can't beat that price. But it looks good, buddy. It looks good. I, I'm telling you, I can't wait to get that out and get that in operation. And uh, I'll be sure to uh, put all your contact information in there. And hopefully uh, we'll draw up some more business for you. <laughs> but how many you say you got gone now? Hundred. He's over. It was over 150. Over 150. So, what do you think? Uh, a lot of satisfied customers. Why I haven't had one come back? That's nah, right. And that one wouldn't have come back only for you. Yeah. You call me. Only for I modified the draft. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've only changed two. This is the second one that I changed. It I was. I done about. I done about eight, eight or nine with that tile draft that you had. Yeah. And then I changed it. And then now that's the way she goes. After it took <clears> off. <throat> after it started to take off the way it did. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera here, but there's a little spacer there. And he says you could take that out if need be, but with that little spacer, it leaves a little gap. Yeah. And you can close that off and you say it don't drown out. Uh, don't drown out, no. She, she'll, uh, she'll keep burning. Yeah. Just smoldering through the night like thing, eh? Yeah. Wicked. Depends on how cold it is, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Just a bare tank. I stripped it right down the netting. Yes, boy. Mm. Wow, you I did a lot it, of work. I cut everything off it. Wow. Well, buddy, I tell you what, I'm so excited to get that out and get that in operation because now. You remember before your ears had a little gap there over the top? Yeah. Right? Now it's, now it's, it's oh, she's, she smack on. She with smack the on with the, the thing there, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. So yeah. So I, I, had it, I had, like, I got one like that in my, in my ice fishing camp, right? And yeah. I use it in my ice fishing camp for, for hunting in the fall as well. Yes, boy. And like we had it out, uh, we never got a chance to get it out this far. I, like, I got my, I got my moose on a fluke. But. <clears throat> yeah, but no, I'm, uh, I'm excited to get this out and uh, put that to, to good use in the camp set. This year is going to be a lot more videos. The last two or three years. Yeah, you haven't got it in your camp lately. <laughs> no, I well, see, I couldn't leave the house. So this is the first year in three years that I'm going to be able to uh, venture out. Yeah. Now, now I'm excited. I might even go out on a. On a do a little bit of rabbit snare and with the canvas tent. I got a couple of pins in, just bush pins. Yeah. And I got my uh, cellular trail cameras on the pins. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm watching them from home. Oh, no, the rabbits. Yeah, once I get a rabbit in the snare, I go over and pick them up. Now, did you ever see the, the rabbit I had on, on at the pen? Yes. Where he, he bit yeah. onto the snare and pulled it tight? Yeah. You know, I used to think that was the squirrels doing that. I showed that to my, I showed that to my buddy. Snare, he's been snaring 65 years. You couldn't believe it? Never seen anything like that, right? No, I never seen it before either. You wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it. No, and if I didn't have the camera, if someone told me a rabbit was doing that, I'd never believe him. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Probably a lot lighter now that you got the big metal legs, huh? Yeah, it's not so heavy, yeah. Yeah. The legs were uh, overkill. Yeah, they were, they were pretty solid. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you know what? I, I think you've given, it, you've given it a wider stance now. Yeah, I believe it is, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, what I found with pipes for legs, the heat used to travel down the pipe and it would melt snow or ice or whatever was underneath because the heat would go uh, down inside the pipe. So I changed that, right? Yeah, good point. That's a good looking stove. I, I, can, I don't care what anybody says. And homemade out of an old 30 pound tank. Hard to believe. And everything's so tight, fits so tight. Yeah, and everything is adjustable. Like even the latch for your for your door, if you find you're getting a little bit flat, yeah. you just give them a little tap of the hammer and it tightens right up again. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what do you tap? Do you just tap this here? There, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, but that's, that's I already. Them, I adjust them all before he leaves here, right? Yeah, yeah. Nobody, I tell you what, that's a, that's a fine product. That's a fine looking stove right there. Thank you so much, Chase. No trouble. Yeah.
Thank you so much. So I'm liking this. Oh yeah, you can feel the, the heat's already uh, built up out to here. You say if you put a, a kettle there and uh, touch it to the side, she'll boil, she'll come to boil. So you can have a kettle boiling here and, and, your, and your supper going there, you know? Or boil your kettle, keep it here, put it here to keep it warm, then, then work on your uh, work on your supper. But it's, it's a lot lighter, it's 27 pounds. But because he, he, he stripped it totally down, so I got to uh, do it and he, and he repainted everything with the, with the high temp uh, paint. So before I can go camping, I got to do a burn onto it. But uh, I tell you what, uh, pretty impressive. This one here with the, uh, with the plate on the side, 250. Without the plate, 220. But no, sir, I'm, I'm quite happy and very excited. Can't wait to get the first burn on this and head out and do some camping. But that bigger door, man, I'm telling you, you put a nice sized chunk of wood into it. Let's see. That's six inches by about four and a half. And that'll fit in there, no problem. You know? Goes right in through the door there. So I gotta say, I'm pretty happy, pretty pleased so far. That's gonna be the answer right there. That's gonna make it possible to get out and do some uh, winter camping this year and be comfortable, you know, going after rabbits and stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Probably hop from location to location and do a night here and there. We'll see. We'll play it by air. Whatever happens, happens. No more smell is coming off of it. So it's been burning a while now. It's good to go. So I think I'll sign off now. And as always, later.